Hey guys, Dark Recycle and SPV. I have an RMA here uh, from a customer. Um, I'm going to open this very quickly. Then we're going to get to it. There seems to be a discrepancy here on what's up with the product. I'm not really sure. So uh, I know I've talked to him a little bit about it. So let me just go ahead and uh, let's do this. Here, let's go ahead and open this up. This is going to be for a 35 amp ESC. Okay. Okay, so the customer says, okay, actually, I'm not really sure what's going on with this. There's been one port soldered, and I'm not really sure. So let's just go ahead and connect it and see what is going on, because we need to show that it works. And so what I've got is I happen to have it right here, because I was testing the identical, and this is what I was using while we were talking. When I was trying to help him so I'm gonna go ahead and let me see how I did this I made this I tried to duplicate the exact same thing so I think I did it pretty good uh, let me see I think it went like this okay All right now uh, let's go ahead and solder the C on I mean the uh, what should we call it 60 and then I'm going to look for a motor and I guess I'll use this motor here let's do that and this is perfect so looks like we're pretty much ready to do this so let me just get a few things cleaned up and soldering iron starting up so we good there got the tweezers ready I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna prep getting this motor on there. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and get the solder he was using but let me just put some of mine on there to melt this quicker Should work for now at least. Okay, so we should be good there. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Yep. And I hear the motor start up, so that's good news. Now let me get, I guess, let me do this. So what I couldn't understand is, I'm saying something about this ESC not working. I'm not really sure what that is, but I'm going to plug it into Betaflight because that's how he was giving it the command to do something. So let's go ahead and get our screens here split one, Oops, one, two, three, there we go. Move that over, log into Betaflight, reset, I don't care about all that, but let's go to motors and see what our protocol is. Got it at DSHOT 600, he was using PWM. So I'm gonna click save and reboot. Now I'm gonna head on over to Yell Heli. Okay. Go and we've got a flash. Okay, yes.
Oh, hold on a second. My bad. Let me go over here. He's configured this much different. So let's do this. Um, what has he changed here? Turn the power off. Connect to beta flight. Motors. Calibrate. Okay, we'll turn this off. Disconnect. Go back to BL Heli. Read the setup. Okay. Okay. And everything here is. I don't know why we have the startup power. I'm going to leave that. Uh, I'll leave the temperature protection. Uh, these will stay just like that. And we're going to take programming off. Okay. Let's disconnect. connect All right, okay motors and now let's see where we're at yeah you may have somebody calling because I heard the doorbell at the house ring This thing's running fine. He was running it on PWM. So let me disconnect. Okay, so 1016 is where it shows to be the minimum throttle. It seems to be about right. And I don't see any other issues. I mean, it's working perfectly fine. Under PWM, I have no problem at all. I connect again, go to motors.
All right, so I don't see any problem at all here, guys. I, I can, I'm not even able to understand what the problem was exactly, but what I will do is turn this off and say that I think this is working just fine. And we're gonna leave it at that. Again, I have no idea. I mean, guy says the ESC isn't working in PWM. It is working in PWM. I don't have any more details other than that. So hopefully I'll reach out to him and find out what it is. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You see that right below. We got a bunch more stuff coming up, so hang tight. And we'll talk to you later, guys. Peace.